keep your oil can far away so no sparks light on fire. That would be dangerous. <laughs> We're going to make Amish gold or black gold right now. You want a wheelbarrow, a shovel, a pitchfork. Come to your mound of mulch. Make sure your overalls are zipped up. You don't want to get nothing on you. Uh, make sure that this mulch or beauty bark is not a deciduous form of tree bark that has a not a good resin you want. It'll, it'll be toxic to your plants. Make sure that mulch has been sitting for six months or more. Six months or more, doesn't matter if it's wet or dry. Spread it. You want to fill up half of that wheelbarrow up with that mulch. And then when you're done getting the mulch, you go to your straw or your hay, uh, whatever you like to prefer to call it. Uh, it. It goes through a different process when it rots and gets ripe to use as a mulch or manure or fertilizer. Again, you just go ahead, put that uh, rest away, filling up your wheelbarrow, the other half. Just like so, Take in your go ahead and use those extra grass clippings and you could add that to your black Amish gold. It could be fresh or it could be uh, grass crisp clippings that have been sitting. Just go ahead and start from one end. I go ahead and I plot, plot my straw, my hay, my grass clippings right over that mound. I would lay, uh, before I do this, I lay uh, a pot or a bucket of earthworms first. And then I go ahead and just place this over the worms on top of my mound with the bark, the straw, and the hay, and the grass clippings that I've mixed up together. And you're gonna let this sit all fall after harvest all winter until early spring you're going to let it sit until it's ready to time to rototill your soil before planting that spring you come here on on do you have to use a mantis rototiller oh this is the best for your home garden for the home owner that you want a home garden i would buy and invest in one of these mantises they're not more more expensive as other rototillers are and they're easier to use. You pull out the choke, you pu push the primer button in three times at least. You go ahead and pull the string, yet make sure you do what Farmer Tabor just did and keep your oil can far away so no sparks light on fire. That would be dangerous and that would be a danger to you. Go ahead and pull with it on the on button, keep pulling until you hear it click. Okay.